I've been told a picture can speak thousand words. If a picture can speak thousand words, so a person can speak ten thousand words. Does it matter? that how much you speak, how much you write, how much you explain, if it cannot be understood by a common person without difficulty, That should be the purpose of speaking and writing. When we start our school, we create A for Apple. B for boy, C for cat, D for dog. A visual language is a learning an understanding process. And when a visual language is simple, it makes more sense to a child. Because by the age of three, he has seen an apple, he has seen a boy, he has seen a dog, he has seen a cat. So correlation become easy. So the neurons in the mind registers visual language much better than the numerical or alphabetic language. We should always think that why I do this? Is it for me? And if I have cooked this meal just for me, then I'm the creator and I'm the judge. But when it between the two or more people. So whatever you do, it should be a happiness for them, a understanding for them, a experience for them. So whether you listen, you talk, you look, you feel, you communicate, it should be understood by the other. 
to great Jain master Matt. People thought there will be great conversations, wisdom talks, but nothing happened. So when they were departing, people say, you both did not speak one word. So they say, we spoke in silence and understood each other in silence. And we enjoyed both our silences of each other. Experience is to come near to a creative. Whether it's in performance, dance, drama, design, lecture. This should become the experience of life. When the communication between the performer and the audience become one, they vibrate on the same frequency. That is the magic. Let us bring that magic in our walk, talk, and everything what we do. Thank you. This is 2nd of April, 2018, Jaipur.